I've been a big lover of the bowler styling ever since I was a young guy and I love what they do as a business so I spotted this at a great buy and I decided to give it a transplant. Hi guys, I'm Dave for those of you that don't know me and welcome to the channel and welcome to Maker. And today we've been playing with this, this is our latest Shop 90. So I'm going to call this Bowler Blue. What we've been doing with this car, I bought this car, God, about a year ago, out of a failed Puma engine, of course. So we pulled all that out and we dropped the BMW in. This is a BMW 204 horsepower started out. A live tune in, I've fed some beautiful information into the ECU. And this has got my in-house big cooling kit with a huge intercooler, huge radiator to keep that beast cool. And what we've been playing about with today is the tractive suspension. So bouncy it was then. Yeah. I think this could quite possibly be the best suspension for a Defender. It's just fun. And what I love about these settings is that you can switch between them on the fly and just have stiff road to an off-road mode. So which I haven't yet found. I found shocks that work off-road and I found shocks that work in the mud. I'm perfect on the road, but I've never found the best. And I think Tractive have nailed this. So Chris. Well apart from absolutely freezing my fingers off, Wombat's being sold so we're um, shooting some of the promo photos and we're shooting a little promo video um, for Dave to send out to a few people who've shown an interest in buying what is probably still one of my favourite vehicles that we've ever had through the workshop. It's pretty bonkers some of the stuff that it's had done to it. It's got an LSA engine in it, which got tuned unbelievably, so it sounds incredible. Um, and I remember when we were first filming this one, and Dave told me it was going to be this turquoise colour. And when I first saw it, I didn't think that would suit a Land Rover, but once it had all the black surround, the um, exterior roll cage put around it and stuff, I mean, I just think it looks brilliant. I, I love it. I, I really love it. This is a 6.2 litre supercharged manual Defender 110. Hi guys, this is Wombat and it's for sale. So here we have a 580 horsepower LSA Defender. So that's a supercharged 6.2 litre that will propel this 110 to 0 to 60 pretty damn fast. So 
trying to hit your camera there. It's three points of contact. <laughs> it's more stable. Unless you start talking. I think what's going to sell this car is the pure induction noise. So we built this car roughly two years ago now. Um, our client that's from London, he didn't use the car as much as he wanted to, so he's only got 3,600 miles on the clock. So this car, I want to say it's just running, guys. So whoever out there is going to get one hell of a deal, everything still feels tight. The steering feels tight, the brakes feel sharp, and the car is just fun. The exhaust note and the induction noise is definitely addictive for those seeking power. You get a cheeky bit of torque steer there, guys, if you're brave enough. What I love about Wombat is it's a manual. You can get the ultimate out of this LSA engine. And the best bit is, is if you love that noise, you can control where you want that noise. So to give you an example, I'm just giving it quarter throttle, if that and you get that lovely noise of the induction in the V8. And you can just tease this car into any gear. The clutch, I wanna say it's nowhere near as strong as a TD5 clutch. And what I mean by strong, I mean as in the pedal strength, as in to put it down. So, as I'm driving along here, I almost wanna say, the missus would be quite happy driving this. And the confidence the brakes give you, this car picks up speed relatively fast, as you can imagine. It's 6.2 litres with a supercharger and it just wants to go. I almost want to say this car, if anything it is, it's ready to go overlanding. So you could go overlanding, you could go on weekend expeditions. She's ready to rock guys, so dig deep and get it bought. How are we looking on Project Precious? Looking good now, mate. Um, everything's made already, so I'm stripping it all apart. Then it can be blasted and painted with the rest of the chassis. So this is the back of the cabin, isn't it? Yep. Uh, do you want to just run through quickly what you've had to do, how it was looking beforehand, to how we, what we've got now? A lot. Uh, we basically gained that much area, which doesn't look like a lot, but it is when you've got all of the electrics here mounted, um, you need to see the pictures really. Everything's mounted with all the wiring, all the wiring hidden away. Um, but yeah, and then the, the tub's all sorted. That's been shortened as well. It's just putting it all together now and painting. This is what's left of Project Precious. And looking very sorry for itself. So Pete's in there busy dismantling the body and expansion panels. Andy's busy up there making a roof extension headliner. And then we're going to wrap that in some beautiful Alcantar. So what we're going to do now is this is the body and there's the new chassis. So we've put together some brand new axles, diffs, transfer case, gearbox, engine package. This is a fully overhauled system. So every single thing is new. 
every single component is genuine, genuine injectors, genuine crank sensor, you name it, guys. So we're sick of basically poor, cheap components letting us down. So we've gone with nothing but genuine components on this, guys. So R90 fuel pump has been rebuilt by a Bosch specialist. We've gone all out. So we've gone with billet coolant intake tube. We don't want anything risking. So this guy's in the Land Rover world. You've got to remember there's a silicon hose that runs along here, 38 mil hose that is bouncing, 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 bouncing. It's the nature of it. You can only support it in so many points. But what we're finding, guys, they're cracking under here and causing coolant to leak down the block where you can't see, and then it evaporates because the block is obviously hot. So great upgrade this is, guys. So any of you out there running these vehicles in off-road trucks, Land Rovers especially, make sure you change this coolant. They are available, and they will be available on our website very soon. So keep an eye out on there. And another nice mod is this mod down here. So this is our air conditioning bracket that allows you to run the Puma stock pump so you keep all your air, con air conditioning in its original configuration. And this is an original four bolt steering box. So you can see it's snug to say the least. John, what have you done to this car? All right, well, basically, um, I've built, I've fitted a new radiator, custom built some brackets to hold the radiator in top and bottom, built and rerouted these water pipes, and also manufactured a custom uh, inlet pipe for the air filter, which pokes out behind the, the light here. Are there any particular sort of challenges that you've come across on this one not really no not really uh, the worst parts getting the angles right for these so it doesn't hit the engine or, or anything like that or any, any moving parts but besides that it's been pretty straightforward basically now all the pipes and radiators fitted um, I'm now fitting the uh, heater pipes and what I'm doing is it's just using a bit of aluminium welding wire just a bit of a template so I can get me bends sort of somewhere near so I can get me length pretty much how I ever want it as well. Um, yeah, it saves me wasting the pipes then, really. I can get it, get it more accurate as well. So it saves me messing about then. Right? Get me, bro. Are you getting down on film? No, it's not a permission. I'm getting the sand. It's the best bit. It is. Grafters and these are better. So, a little update on Project Lara. So, this vehicle is nearing completion, and we got to a very tricky bit the other day where we started modelling up high and low shifters, and we realised that we've not actually put an LT1 eight speed auto in a TD5 yet. So, we've had to give Ashcroft a call, and we've gone with their cable shifter now. So, they've got cable diff lock and high and low, etc. So, we're going to put that in this vehicle, and hopefully, that'll iron out that niggle. So if you want to just listen to this absolute monster. So we've gone back to basics with this TD5. So if you check out the, the gauges, we've gone with the usual. We've gone stack oil, stack water, and stack fuel gauge. So this is gonna be having our usual leather center console with the Corvette shifter. We've given this guy an alarm upgrade as one, a Cat1 system with location tags and tracker, etc., for the all important security, as we know these vehicles like getting stolen. 
And as you notice here, these are our beautiful lift-off billet hinges. So if you ever want to change to the doors, so like trail doors, etc., that we offer that you'll see on the Scram video, you can just pop the door off. And what we've also developed inside here for a security thing is we've got security bolts. And what we've also done inside, there's a tiny little catch. You can just see it inside this one. So if you look in here, you'll notice that aluminium lug there. I don't know if you can see that. So that lug prevents the door being lifted off when it's in the closed form. So so many people have said, lift off hinges are fantastic, but what happens when the door gets stolen? So that stops the door getting stolen. So something different on this car is that this car is going to be used and abused in the shooting world. So John said to me, Dave, I don't want you to polish it. I want it rough ready. And so what we've done with this, we've literally powder coated the hoop. We've rebuilt his wiring harness and we we're pretty shocked about the wiring that Land River actually installed from the factory. There was no relays, no extra relays. It was all just tagged into the original lighting loom, which we've redone, put some nice fuses under the box and some nice relays to give these big Vision X lights the proper power they deserve. So one question I have is, yeah. it looks like two tiny little air filters sticking out the side of it. What yes. are they? So they're breathers. Breathers. So basically this engine requires crankcase breathing. So basically if there was any pressure inside the block, you know, like gases pass obviously the top of the piston, they're designed to basically release that instead of you popping all your basically your gaskets, your seals, all that kind of thing. Yeah. Burn. What have we got going on here? So this is one of our customers called Will Reeves. It's his 130. And you may have seen the 110 called Cerberus that we've done, which is, I believe, the 750 brake LS3 uh, 110. That's also Will Reeves. Uh, and this is his 130, but he wants this to be more of a work truck. But the state it came in, it was not nice. I think you might have seen last video, it might have been. Uh, the chassis was absolutely covered in wax oil and unfortunately they just put the wax oil over the top of the rust, didn't take any of the rust out or anything, put it just over the top of absolutely everything. So we've uh, lifted it up, gave it a proper good bath underneath and then next it came in the booth and uh, yeah, I've worked a little bit of magic on the chassis, had a few spots that needed a bit of welding doing. So we got Big John in here and got him to tack a few plates on. And uh, yeah, just currently now fitting the Pro Runner 2.65 Bilstein shocks on. And I believe in, in about half a year's time, it's coming in for a, a BM engine. So when it has that M57 dropped in, I believe it's going to be going on a Galv chassis. So it's going to be completely refreshed. So this is the first vehicle that we fitted these coastline wheels to. And we're really happy. Like, if you just check out that offset there, this vehicle has got plus 30 mil arches as well. And... I think that's pretty much perfect in my opinion. Excuse the dusty car, of course. Bruno's made a right mess in here, <laughs> as usual. But this vehicle, if you look inside there, look how immaculate that chassis is. It wasn't like that a few weeks ago, I can assure you. But you'll notice in here, we've gone above and beyond. We've gone with galvanized shock mounts there. And of course, this car has a nice suspension upgrade. These are the 2.65 Bill Steins. Check them out. Nice and tight. And we've gone with an arm upgrade and, of course, a super pro bush upgrade on this vehicle. So this lovely Puma 110XS has just had the full underbody treatment, 2.65 shocks, a serious set of axles. So if you look under here. So the, uh, these are Mayer's heavy duty axle cases. We've gone with Sumo bars, Bill Sign 2.65 dampers, Super Pro bushes all round. This has got my 16 inch AP brake kit. So we've gone upgraded stopping power and Neil plans to bring this to me next year and have a 330D system. So this is basically like preventative measures prior to having the full engine swap. And of course, a lovely uproar stainless steel front bumper.
What's in your box, Jacob? A wheel carrier. Mm. It is called Nakutang. I probably pronounced it wrong, but. <laughs> say, say again, say. A Nakutang. Nak two nak two down. I can't even say it now. Nakatsumenya. Yeah, something like that. Yeah. So, it's a really fancy wheel carrier. Which looks like this. Very nice. It sits in here. Like that. And the wheel wheel sits on there. So it's attached to the chassis. Instead of the body, and you can open it up as well. So today, Jacob's been busy putting the NAS step on and we've gone with the Nakintenga stainless steel rear wheel carrier. Really fond of these wheel carriers. They've got an awesome support underneath them to stop that rattling that most wheel, car wheel carriers are renowned for. And there's no adjustment required. Shut the door, job done. Another nice feature we've gone with is our comfort height springs. You'll notice this Defender is sitting low and it's got a nice stance fit, I want to say. Really sporty, as you see here. Body roll is very minimum because it has the tractive and it's currently in stiff mode. So tune in next week to see what we're up to with it. We now have stock of these beautiful billet hard anodized handles. Just check them out guys. Little discreet M, just so they know it, they're ours. And this is our beautifully trimmed interior. In house again guys, if you want your doors to look like this, get in touch. So why are we just taking the edges off these? Just deburring everything ready for paint now. Everything's stripped back. Um, the new panels will be next and then it's in for paint. And do you know what colour it's being painted? It's going to be the same original colour. Quite a nice colour actually. Nitrate that is as well, you know, Ben. Oh. You gotta think about this. Nice pipes, John. Thank you, mate. It's all right. Have a Christmas, mate.
Thanks again for watching, guys. It's been another busy week here at Maker, and I hope you've liked what you've seen. So please, guys, help us grow this channel, and please subscribe, and please tell your friends. I'd appreciate shares. See you again soon.